Like Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard before him, Abbott's dwindling numbers in the opinion polls were part of his downfall. But will Mr Turnbull be able to turn the government's fortunes around? Sam Kuchiara has the latest. This is Australia's fifth Prime Minister in just five years. Malcolm Turnbull sweeping to victory last night in the hope of salvaging a government in turmoil. This has been a very important day in the life of the nation. But the constant change in leadership from both sides of politics has left some questioning our democratic system. Well, it's become the new normal in Australia, really, hasn't it? I don't think it's great. I think we risk uh, being a bit of an international laughing stock. Very embarrassing for the rest of the world to see. I don't know about the, the instability of like switching prime ministers. Many seeing Mr Turnbull as in touch with voters, despite being the richest politician behind Clive Palmer. Look, I think he's a pretty charming, charismatic guy. People respond to him at a personal level. Tony Abbott spent less time in office than Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard, just four days short of his second anniversary. And thanks to reforms he brought in, he won't get the PM's bonus pension. He's patronising, he doesn't and didn't treat the Australian public with a lot of respect. The new PM vowing to be a more consultative leader, but not straying from traditional Liberal values. We need to have, in this country, and we will have now, an economic vision, a leadership that explains the great challenges and opportunities that we face. So where to now? Mr Turnbull is more progressive than his colleagues on issues like gay marriage and climate change, but he's indicated he won't stray far from Abbott's existing policies for the time being. I don't foresee Malcolm Turnbull making any big moves in those, in those policy areas. He, as I said, I think he has made some undertakings uh, to his, his parliamentary colleagues. Mr Turnbull's vow to see out the term before next year's election. A new cabinet expected within the next week. Sam Cucciara, City Journal News.